Monster 30 feet waves are expected off the coast of Cornwall as the tail end of Hurricane Ophelia brings gale force winds to Britain and Ireland. The Met Office has issued a danger to life weather warning for Cornwall on Monday as the ex hurricane heads across the Atlantic. Forecasters are predicting winds of at least 60 or 70 miles per hour and Cornwall with the winds stronger in the far west and the Isles of Scilly. And the winds will also bring huge waves, with forecasters predicting wave heights of 9 to 11 meters off Cornwall 3,036 feet and surfers talking about an actual 50-year storm. Watch Hurricane Ophelia as it heads towards Cornwall. Hurricane Ophelia has strengthened to a Category 2 storm with 100 miles per hour winds, as it makes its way across the Atlantic. A prediction showing the possible location of X Hurricane Ophelia, pressure and rainfall for Tuesday, October 17 Image the Weather Channel The U.S. National Hurricane Center has been warning that the storm, which is currently 670 miles southwest of the Azores, is becoming stronger. Ben Freeston wrote on Magic Seaweed While these storms might offer the first blast of a winter season, they're not generally offering the 21 feet at 18 seconds with 60 miles per hour on shores that are currently forming part of the forecast for Tramore in Southern Ireland next Tuesday morning. A European landfall HASNT happened in 55 years and, if it comes off, as most models are indicating, it's something you might not live long enough to see again an actual 50-year storm. A track showing the position of Hurricane Ophelia and e its possible path over the weekend image the Weather Channel A Met Office spokesman told Cornwall Live in terms of X Hurricane Ophelia, we're looking at winds increasing late Sunday night and into Monday morning and into the day itself. The main concern will be the strength of the winds. Rainfall stays a lot further north. It should be dry but strong west-southwesterly winds. We're looking at wind gusts through Monday with the strongest in the west towards the Scilly Isles and Land's End. There'll be gusts of 6,070 miles per hour through Monday morning and into the afternoon before they start to ease. Further east we could see gales of 4,555 miles per hour so there could be disruption to local transport and trees down through Monday, there is still a bit uncertainty but it looks like the further west you are the winds will be stronger. What makes it unusual is that it's an ex hurricane. We're likely to see across the north coast waves of 911 meters and high winds in coastal areas. But because it's extropical it will bring temperatures of 20 degrees around 45 degrees higher than the average temp across Cornwall for this time of year. Hurricane Ophelia will become ex-hurricane by the time its remains reach the UK image. The weather company Matt Crofts is a life-saving manager with the RNLI. He said the severe weather which is due to hit parts of the UK and Ireland early next week could make our seas particularly dangerous and unpredictable, with large waves and swells being a major risk. Stormy conditions may be tempting to watch but big waves can easily knock you off your feet. The sea is far more powerful than you think and your chances of survival are slim if you are dragged into the swell. Our volunteer lifeboat crews will always launch to rescue those in danger at sea, but to launch into conditions like these could also put their lives at risk. We understand why people want to experience extreme weather, but it's not worth risking your life, so we strongly urge people to respect the water and watch from a safe distance. If you see someone else in trouble in the water, call 999 and ask for the Coast Guard. Don't enter the water yourself as you could also end up in serious danger.